Recently, I was asked by Bruce Ranch Beef CSA if I'd be willing to try some of their beef, maybe do a video on it, come up with a recipe, and I said, heck yeah, sounds like something I'd really like to do. But before I did, I did some research on these guys, and let me tell you, they're pretty cool. Third generation ranchers, they are pretty much farm to table. That means that you go to their website, you order what you want, and they have selections for you, and then they'll deliver it to your front door. All their beef is grass-fed, except for when they finish it. You can go with grass-fed or you can go with grain-fed. I opted to go with grass-fed. They gave me three pounds of English-style beef ribs. And I thought, hmm, I got to figure out a recipe for this. And I came up with one I think you're going to like. Let's start. We start with just putting a couple of tablespoons of olive oil in the bottom. We're going to add about one onion into this. Give a nice stir. Make sure it's not too hot. Then we throw in the equivalent of about three carrots. Just let it cook away for a few. Our onions and carrots have been cooking for about three minutes. Just take them off. For the ribs, I'm just gonna slice it open. Look at that, looking good. Put some salt on it. Perfect. Get it on all sides. Kind of like rinse and repeat. Salt on it, all sides. And that last one. Once again, all sides. All right, now it is time to go back into our pan. We're gonna add some more EVOO to the mix. Let it warm up for just a moment because it needs to get to about 340 to 60 degrees. Meantime, just gonna start putting our ribs down. This is called braising. We're gonna give them about 45 seconds on each side. All right, let's take a look at the bottom. Yeah, it looks pretty good. Let's flip them. Give them another 45 seconds. All right, 45 seconds is up. We'll flip them to the side. Got to make sure you get the sides. All right, let's flip them again. All right, 45 seconds up. Let's take them off. Put them to the side. Now it's time for the fun part. Let's open that bottle of wine. Since our beef's local, I thought I'd keep this as local as possible, and I'm going with Snake River Cab Sauv. Never had this before. Hmm. Of course, the, the chef has to try a little bit. I like it. All right. Now we're going to take about a cup of the wine, put it into our pan. This is called deglazing. What we want to do is use that wine to get all the drippings off the bottom. We're going to bring the wine up to a boil and continue on. Right, with our vino starting to boil, I'm going to add a cup of chicken broth to this. Normally you'd say, would you put beef broth in there? Not in this one. I think chicken broth adds just enough, enough flavor. All right, I'm going with six ounces of tomato paste. I'm gonna go with about 14 ounces of diced tomatoes. Give it a nice stir. Add some more salt. Time to put our ribs in. A couple of whole sprigs of rosemary and a couple of whole sprigs of thyme. We do have our onions and carrots that we gotta put in. 
can smell this already. It's, it's awesome. Then I'm going to cover it for a few minutes because I have to get my smoker up to 350 degrees. You don't have to use a smoker. I just prefer to. All a smoker is is an oven that just adds a little bit of smoke flavor to it. You could use your oven and you'd be just fine. 350 degrees for about two and a half hours. With our smoker up to 350, it's time to put the ribs down onto it for two and a half hours. You look at this. That meat's ready to fall right off the bone. So we're gonna let it rest for 30 minutes. Then we're gonna plate it up and give these ribs a try. So I wanna show you guys this. Just bring a, a rib off to the side here. Bring in for a close up because this one looks absolutely freaking amazing. Still a little on the warm side. Flavor's awesome. Fall off the bone tender. Tons of flavor. I'm telling you, it's one of the best pieces of beef I've ever had. Bruce Ranch Beef CSA. Awesome place. Make sure to check them out. Like I said, I'll leave a link below. But I think it's time to plate this up. So we're going to put this back in. Take some potato. Yeah, I made some potato in the meantime. Take one of our fall off the bone ribs, plate it up. There you go. I'm going to bring you in for a close up. All right, we brought you in for that close up. I think it's time to try it. First, I really want to try the carrots and onions and tomatoes. Mmm, one point. It's got a really smooth taste to it. But the star of the show here is really this beef rib. And I got to tell you, it has amazing flavor. It, it tastes like a beef rib should, in my opinion. Like I said, I went for the grass fed at the very end. Fall off the bone goodness. What? Absolutely amazing. I really highly recommend Bruce Ranch Beef CSA. Third generation ranchers here in Idaho. If you're in the Boise area, look them up. They'll deliver right to your door. I want to thank Bruce Ranch Beef CSA for allowing me to try their beef, make a recipe for you. Cheers, guys.